Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back. We are here, we're at the new setup. We've got better quality and it's all around just gonna be a better time. So sit back and relax and let's spill some tea on on this stuff, on, on the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collection. Let's see how it performs. I did a full face using the brushes and then using the eyeshadow palettes on my eyes. So yeah, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, turn on my notifications, comment below, <laughs> like do all of those things because I am back and I'm gonna be filming so many more videos in my new beautiful makeup room. And yeah, if you guys wanna see like my thoughts, keep on watching. Okay, so today I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I got this when it first launched. I ordered it. I waited and ordered it and I was so excited because I was like, oh, it was reformulated so it's gonna be this awesome formula. And then I started watching reviews and I was like, oh no, <laughs> I'm scared. But I really wanted to film a video testing it out for you guys, so I was like, okay, I'll wait. And you know what? I haven't even been tempted to try it out because of all of the negative reviews on it. But I really do want to test it out for myself and see if it's really, like, crap or if it's good quality or if it's just, like, very inconsistent. Like, what is going on? And also... I have <laughs> this big... Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush collection and this is actually the PR package. Let me see if I can open it. This is so big. It's so cute. So this is beautiful. I'm not on Morphe's PR list. That would be cool, but I did enter one of those little Instagram giveaways and I actually won. I've never won a giveaway. I do a lot of giveaways for you guys, but I've never won a giveaway before and I was so excited because I was going to buy the brush collection anyways, but I won it in a giveaway, which is amazing. So I have been waiting to test both of these out together on camera, give you guys my first impressions, my thoughts, how does it perform? what's the deal and I am super excited and I hope you guys are too so let's get into it. I'm just gonna start by opening up the vault collection. It's been a while you guys since I filmed a makeup video. I really missed you. I hope you guys love my new setup. I am super excited. Oh I need to look at the camera and not the viewfinder. This is cute. I really love the concept and honestly for four palettes it was a pretty good steal but now if they're bad quality then I will let you know. I know this video is very late a lot of people already did a video like this but I still wanted to do one because I still want to show you guys I want to give you guys my first impressions and thoughts. I took the brushes out of the package and I put them in some little jars so that I can access them easily. They are super soft, like really soft. It does come with this really cute brush case for travel, which I was really excited about because it's super sparkly and this is totally like my vibe as you guys can see. Let's just like get into it. Let's do a full face. I never use brushes on my face for applying foundation and whatnot, but I'm gonna try and use only the brushes in the collection to do my full face. I might have to sneak a beauty blender in there at some point. I'm gonna start with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I have been loving this primer. I'm just gonna go in, rub it in, press it into my face. Oh, I forgot I have eyebrows on. I gotta be careful. I just messed them up. Wow, oh, okay. It's fine, it's all good. I like to just press this primer in. And I am not a primer person. If you guys have been watching my channel since I started, I do not like primer, but for some reason, this one really does give you 
a nice smooth base and it makes my makeup last a lot longer. Okay, and now that we are primed, I'm gonna go in with foundation and I don't usually do my face first. I don't usually use a brush. This is all new. This is gonna be so weird. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Snow because I am pale AF. We're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go right into it. This is the JHO3 foundation brush. We're just gonna buff it in. I feel like it just drags around the product and it doesn't look good. <sighs> I cannot use a brush. How do you guys do this? Okay, comment down below if you use a brush to apply your foundation. I tried. I just can't. I can't deal with a brush. I need a beauty blender. This is technically the Real Techniques sponge. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out and then we'll move on to concealer and I'm just gonna use my sponge because I'm not even gonna try using a brush for concealer. Although it does come with this JH08 brush, which would be good for concealer, but <laughs> I'm not gonna bother. For concealer, I have been obsessed with the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and I use the shade Swan, which is just a shade lighter than the foundation color. And I find actually that the Born This Way foundation and the new concealer go so beautifully together. Like, they just melt into the skin and look really pretty, so... I'm just going in. So I just finished up my foundation concealer and I went in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Light Translucent because I just want to finish up my base and I do all of that using a sponge. It just works for me. I can't use brushes for that. It doesn't look the same. But I did find that my foundation looks horrible today because I tried using the brush. We're just gonna move on to eyes and let's see if there's fallout. Let's see if it messes up my foundation. Whatever. This is the Ring Me Alarm palette and I'm really feeling this because obviously these are like my colors, the warm tones. I'm gonna do a very fall look today. It's fall, obviously. I am feeling the fall vibes. I am super stoked. I also love the Bling Boss palette, which is these purpley tones. This one is gorgeous. But wait, this is the Armed and Gorgeous, right? Yeah, Armed and Gorgeous. These oranges, though, they're calling to me. And this color right here, can we just swatch it? Let's swatch. First swatch. That's actually really pretty. I'm not mad at that, okay. Um, and the last palette is Dark Magic. Um, this is not interest me right now. I'm not feeling the Dark Magic vibes today, so we're gonna set this one to the side. I'm not even gonna bother with it. I want like a super fall moment. Let's just start with the Access shade, and I'm gonna go in with just a big blending brush and use this for the transition. This is the JH32 and let's see how it performs. I haven't even swatched all of these yet. We're just gonna go in and like do a test on the eyes to see. And also I've been doing this thing where I don't set my eyeshadow base, which I just use the um, Too Faced concealer for my base and I don't set it. So everything goes more pigmented. The brush is nice. It feels like all my other Morphe brushes that I have feels like the same. This eyeshadow is actually blending pretty nice. I'm not mad at it. It's a really pretty yellow color. Like an orangey yellow color. So now we'll go into Secure and we will go in with a, another blending brush. And this is the JH35, which is going to be kind of like the MAC 217 brush. It's like a little bit longer. The JH33, I think, is more MAC 217. Oh! I don't know. I like the way this brush looks. We're just gonna try it. There's so many blending brushes, like I don't even know which one to use, but I'm excited because you can never have enough blending brushes. So let's go into Secure, and we're just gonna blend this color a little bit lower. I'm not loving this brush. It's kind of scratchy. The color's fine though. Okay, I'm gonna set this brush aside. I don't wanna bother with that one. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna go in with another blending brush. Let's just try as many as we can at this point. So JH34, this one is more of a pointed blending brush. I'm gonna go back into Access and blend everything together. I like this one a lot. It's really soft. And both of the colors are blending really nice. I'm gonna put this palette away and we will go back 
to ring the alarm. And let's go into some of the deeper oranges. We're gonna go in with Rush and we're gonna go just a little bit lower. I'm gonna still use this pointed blending brush, JH34, with Rush. All right, so we are gonna go in with this deeper orange shade alert with the JH33 brush. And we're just gonna pack that on the outer corners of the eye. Yeah, I feel like the alert shade is the worst one so far. It's not looking as smooth. Look at that. That's weird. I'm just gonna keep blending and see what happens and do the best I can. I'm gonna go in with a shimmer just all over the lid. I'm not loving the way everything's looking. Maybe a shimmer can fix it. And I'm gonna go in with the color coin, which is that first shade that I could not help but swatch because it's, it is such a beautiful gold color. I think that would be pretty just kind of all over the lid. So I am gonna go in with this brush, JH41, and this looks like it would be the brush that is perfect for packing on some shimmer. I hope that the shimmer goes on pigmented. I'm just gonna wet it with some setting spray. I ran out of Fix Plus, you guys. I'm so sad I haven't picked up more. So I'm just using my all-nighter spray. Not bad, that's actually really nice. I'm kind of creating like a lazy cut crease with this shimmer. This is something I like to do when I don't feel like cutting out the crease with concealer. I'll just use a shimmer and do it that way. And that did make the eyeshadow look a whole lot better. It took it to another level for sure. I don't know why the brush is so scratchy. It feels like the bristles are like not the best. This literally hurts to put the shimmer on because this brush is so scratchy. It's super weird. I'm not hating how this is looking after the shimmer. Um, it's definitely not my favorite, but it's kind of cute. It's all right. I'm going to go in with this little brush here. This is the JH07 and we'll try and sweep away some fallout as much as we can. I'm going to go in with JH42 and VIP. This looks like a pretty color. We're going to highlight the inner corners. Oh, that is really nice. That's actually really good. Whoa. I like the brow bone. That's like really popping. I wasn't expecting that. So lower lash line. What are we thinking? I need to play with the purple palette on my lower lash line. I can't control myself. I need some purple right now. So I'm gonna grab a purple eyeliner and we're gonna go in. So I have my Sephora eyeliner in purple stiletto and we're just gonna put that in the waterline. Let's go in to this color gem, JH43. This is one of those little flat brushes. Okay, I really think it needed that purple. I really do. Now we'll go in with this JH38, which is a good little pencil brush for smoking out the lower lash line. And we'll go in with Hush Hush just to blend that purple. I'm gonna go in with Sparks actually as well. This kind of like red shade. Oh yes. I like really dragging down my lower lash line. I am just gonna blend um, with this big fluffy brush and just the remainder of whatever orange color is on really just kind of smoke everything out and just marry it together so everything's blended. I like it. I like it for a fall look. Um, I'm gonna pop on some lashes, do some mascara. I don't think I'll do a wing liner, but a wing liner would look really cute with this look, so that's definitely an option. I have some lashes. These are Huda Beauty Noelle lashes. They are gorgeous because they look like two separate lashes stacked together, but it's actually one pair of lashes, so they're like two-dimensional. This is not a Huda Lashes box. I lost the other box, so they're living in here. I'm gonna put them on. I'll be back. All right, so I am back. I finished up the eyes. I put on lashes. I did a little liner, mascara, all of that. I'm actually not crazy about these lashes with this look. I do like the lashes better, I think, with a wing liner. Anyways, moving on to the face. I don't like the way my foundation is looking. I wanna dabble in some of these brushes, though. Obviously, I wasn't a big fan of foundation brush, but that's a personal preference thing. I love this fat brush for, like, powder. I'm not gonna be using that since I already did apply my powder, but we do need to contour the face. So this is the brush that I'm really excited to try. This is the JH05. This is the one that she was raving about that she did personally create this, not personally, but like she had a big part in 
customizing this brush. It does not exist anywhere else other than her collection. So I always use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to contour. Obviously you can see it's been very loved. So I'm going to go in with this and contour as I normally would and see what happens. Ooh, this is really nice. I really like this brush. This is soft. It's applying pretty smooth. This side is kind of patchy right now just because I have some breakouts over here that I've been spot treating. So there's a little bit of dryness so it's not gliding on as smooth as I would like. Let's go into that hairline. I've been using the same contour brush for like two years. So this is exciting to try something new and actually be liking it. Ooh, I did just get a little bit of shedding, which is weird for a new brush, but you know, I'm gonna look past it. We're gonna go in with bronzer. I really like to go in because I'm real fair. I'm kind of extra. I like to use two bronzers, this one to contour, and then Marc Jacobs Tantastic to bronze with a bigger brush. So I'm gonna use the Jaclyn JH02 brush. I really like the way this brush is shaped. It's very similar to the brush I normally use for bronzing, so I know I'll probably like it. After the other bronzer, it goes on so nice and just kind of blends everything in with my skin. It looks really pretty. I like to put on a lot of bronzer. I like it a lot. My nose is getting kind of patchy and flaky. I think my skin is just getting really dry, honestly, for the colder weather. It's gotten really cold like out of nowhere. I'm gonna bake my cheeks and then we'll move on to the rest of the face. Okay next JH09. This is highlighting brush. We're going in with some Fenty Lightning Dust Fire Crystal. This is one of my favorite highlighters. As you can see it's kind of a mess. I really have gone in on this shade. I try and mix them so that I use them both equally but it doesn't happen because this color is so much better. It just gives you that blinding glow. I like this brush. My foundation on my nose is looking horrible. And did you guys think I was done highlighting? Because I'm not. Because I'm going to go in and we're going to layer with some more Fenty Beauty um, Diamond Bomb. How many carrots? How many layers of highlight can I do? This stuff is gorgeous. This will give you the most blinding, intense, sparkly glow. It just is like the best topper. It works gorgeous as an eyeshadow on the body. Like, put it all over. I want it all over me. Ooh, that glow, look at that glow. Okay, for blush, there are two potential brushes that we could use. This is very similar to my everyday favorite blush brush, but then there's this really cute little Luffy 06 brush, and I feel like this will apply it really pretty. Jacqueline's video, she said that she likes this one for applying blush. So we're gonna go on with my fave, Milani Luminoso. That has not changed since I have been gone. I've been using a lot of the same stuff, but a lot of new stuff too. And I'll do a favorites video if you guys want, because I have some good makeup that I have been loving and I wanna share it with you guys, because if I'm not sharing it with you, then that's just rude, so. All right, so. This is really pretty. It's applying like the lightest little dusting. Okay, you guys know, I gotta go in with that nose blush. Blush on the nose is my favorite. Even though my nose is falling apart because the makeup is just coming right off. Oh my gosh, I really like this brush a lot. I'm gonna use this little brush to sweep away that powder. Let's set everything in place. I kind of like the, the look so far. I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter. And this is just the old packaging because when it went on sale, I bought so many of them. I just have to finish up with lips, so I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Lip Liner in Lip Blush. This is my favorite lip liner. It's like the perfect color. All right, that is my favorite nude lip liner. Now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Aquarius Ultra Satin Lip. We need a lip gloss. 
So I'm going to test out, this is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Over the Top Lip Gloss and it is so gorgeous. I finally got my hands on this. I've been dying to try it since their first collab and now I finally got it. So we'll go in with this over the top and see what happens. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It just gives that like beautiful shine and sparkle to the lips. It doesn't look like super glittery. It's beautiful. I wanna give you guys my final thoughts on everything. So brush collection, there's some really good brushes. I honestly liked most of the brushes. The two brushes that I freaking hated are the JH35 brush and then the JH41 brushes, these two were super scratchy and that is not like the other Morphe brushes that I own. So these ones like hurt to apply the product. I did not love these. The rest of the ones I used I actually really enjoyed. These are all the brushes that I didn't get the chance to use. So I will definitely be playing around with these ones and seeing how I like those as well. But for the most part I do like them. I don't think it's worth paying so much money for the entire collection unless you don't have a lot of brushes. If you have no brushes and you need a full set, I honestly feel like it's not a bad deal because it does come with this really nice case. If you are like me and you have a million brushes, you don't need any more. Don't waste your money, but definitely invest in like, I really like this contouring brush. It's already dirty. Why? It's already getting gross. Everything gets so dirty. The 05 brush. I really like this one and that is very unique and different so if you don't have a brush like this just buy some of the individual ones that you don't have. As far as the eyeshadows they performed pretty good like they were okay they were not as good as her original palette for sure. There was a couple of them that I was like not loving like the dark orange alert color from ring the alarm was not my favorite but i did like the shimmers that i tried and the ones i tried i could definitely finesse it and make it work if you don't have a lot of palettes it is a pretty good price for all four of them um, but if you again are like me and you have a bunch of palettes don't waste your time don't waste your money i would recommend getting the original one these are still nice i definitely need to play around with them more so that i can give you guys like my final final thoughts of like how I really feel because there's a lot of colors that I didn't try that might have been trickier like some of the greens I heard don't perform that well so I did play it safe with the orange colors I like the look that I did overall we learned that I am gonna stick to applying my foundation with a sponge yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really missed you so much. I hope you love my new setup. I hope the quality is better, and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You look like a Lakers fan. Oh, because of, like, the yellow or the golden... Um, purple. Purple. Like, fall vibes, though, too? Yeah. You don't want to be on camera? <laughs> no, I'm good. Come on! I'm good. You look so cute. Everyone wants to see you. Next time. You heard it, guys. If you want to see a video of him doing my makeup, comment down below and like this video. What? <laughs> <laughs>